the state legislature and others deeming you as not having rights, you're not going to participate. But I'm grateful this morning that our ancestors thought that we should have a better opportunity than what they had. I'm grateful that my great-grandmother, who was born in 1863, the first three of my life, thought that I should have a better opportunity than her mother, and so she fought along with others that we might get the right to vote. And now that we all have the right to vote, because of this uh, eight, uh, 1965 Voting Rights Act that President London Johnson signed into law, we had the full right to participate. But what we do when we fail to vote is we give opportunity to other people to elect and put on the Supreme Court people who have the mindset of this Chief Justice who did in 1857. So yes, your vote truly matters. Not only yours, but those of your neighbors, your co-workers, all your family, and everyone. And so I said that example because I wanted you to realize something. Today, our Supreme Court sits with eight justices. It should be nine, so that there will always be a majority opinion. However, if a decision is made, and it is appealed to the United States Supreme Court, and it's a split decision, then it stands as the law for group. That's an injustice to you. The people who get to change that are the people you put in office. And unless you hold them accountable for what it is that you sent them there to do, then your rights will not be properly given. And we stand the chance as hard-working, tax-paying citizens to lose some of our hard-fought rights and benefits. So I want you to consider that if there's a grave consequence, not just for you, but for future generations, unless we engage in the voting process. Secondly, and most importantly, it's not just enough for you to vote. You have to educate yourself and others on the voting process. And it's very simple, and I'm glad that we have community organizations with small groups like this today, where you can ask the question, where you can become an empowered citizen, because that's what America is about. It's about no one individual feeling they're smarter or greater than another, but that we are all equal under this Constitution, and you have the opportunity to know just as much and be empowered about the voting process. And then, in your own familiar tongue, you can share with your name why it is that they need to vote and why it is that they need to do to be a full-fledged citizen taking advantage of their God-given rights Constitution. Unless you vote, individuals will make decisions about taxes, about laws. If you're a person of faith and you feel that it's important that your beliefs are protected under the Constitution, then you have to vote because the individuals will make decisions about whether those beliefs are protected. If you particularly care about education and how education will be shared in advance in America, those individuals participate in that. As mentioned, whether it's locally or whether it is nationally, those individuals make those decisions, but unless you vote, you don't have a voice. So protect the voice that you have fought so hard, and our ancestors as minorities fought so hard to protect. That voice is silent when you don't vote. And although finally, we may be the last state in the nation to vote. The fact of the matter is that we can say that we voted. And, if, and there are so many decisions made in Congress and that are made in legislatures, made on the Supreme Court by one single vote. And so your vote matters. And I will tell you that the individuals for almost 56 years, I have not 
I've seen a time when it has been so critical for every single vote to be counted. So please join all of us and please make this commitment today that you will vote, that you will educate yourself about the voting process, and you will educate others on why it is that your vote matters. The first person that can come up here to us on this table and tell me one of the three reasons why your vote matters will get a $10 gift certificate from 